filmmakers Ash here and welcome to Film It Yourself. You've probably seen plenty of behind the scenes footage of directors wearing fancy berets and shouting action into megaphones, but you're probably thinking, besides all that, what does a director do exactly? So let's go over all the various things a movie director does both on and off set. But first, let's define what it means to be a director and why you need one. You see, directors are kind of like the captain of a ship. They are the main person in charge of steering the ship and making all of the creative decisions. And this is important because filmmaking is art, and in order to make good art, you need one cohesive vision for the film. If films didn't have directors and instead each department made their own creative decisions, then you'd end up with something more like a sloppy collage instead of a polished painting. However, much like a producer, the exact role of the director can be different depending on the film and the director themselves. Some directors might want to be super hands-on, while others might be more hands-off. In some situations, the studio might have a lot of say in creative decisions, while on indie sets, the director might have total creative freedom. It's also worth noting that film directors and TV directors are different roles, because in TV, the showrunners are actually more of the overseeing creative director than the directors themselves. Directors on TV shows often come in just for one episode, and their role mainly is to direct in the very basic sense of the word, that is to direct actors and crew while on set. This way, the show's visual consistency is maintained, and you don't end up with TV show episodes that are wildly different one episode to the next. Okay, you know what a director is. Let's go over exactly what a director does, starting with pre-production. In pre-production, directors can either be hired to direct a script, choose to direct someone else's script, or sometimes they are also the writer of the script. The director is often the one hiring other key creative positions, such as the cinematographer, production designer, costume designer, and so on. They're basically like a football coach, picking the all-star players they think will be the best possible team to help them make the movie and score the home run. That's how football works, right? While prepping for the film, the director is also responsible for creating any assets needed to convey their vision to the rest of the cast and crew. This could be storyboards, shot lists, or even vision boards with other graphic examples that have a similar vibe. During the pre-production process, the director will also check in with these department heads to answer questions and make sure each department is heading in the right direction. Oh, no pun intended. If they aren't, it's up to the director to course correct by again communicating their vision. Most importantly out of these is the cinematographer. In pre-production, the director and cinematographer will work together to create a visual look for the film through storyboards and shot lists. Sometimes this even entails test shoots to make sure any film equipment, props, or wardrobe are working to achieve the visual look desired. Also, the director is in charge of selecting the cast for the film, again looking for the best possible casting fit to really slam dunk the performance. Ow, I think I pulled a muscle with all these sports references. For more on casting, check out my casting video here. Once the film is cast, the director conducts table reads and rehearsals with the actors. This is also where the director and actors begin to shape the characters in the film, and the director usually has the creative freedom to make script changes if need be. Once the film is in production, the director works closely with the cinematographer to make sure the visuals for the film are again conveying their overall vision. Since filmmaking is an unpredictable beast, this can sometimes include last minute changes to shots and thus it's up to the director and cinematographer to work together to find solutions. And honestly, this goes for every department. You never know when an issue might pop up. For example, in my short film Infectious, we hit a last minute special effects makeup snag when the foam axe we planned to glue onto our zombie actor's head was too heavy for the adhesive. Yeah, it feels like it's pulling up in the front row. 
Can you yell for Ash? So the makeup artist and I had to quickly come up with a solution. Can we cut that? Would it be Let's noticeable? try it. Let's try it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. When everything is ready to shoot a take, the director then finally does what most people think of when they think of directors. They direct the actor. This is finally what all the hard work and pre-production has been for, and the most important part of directing. Because no matter how much prep work you've done, if you don't actually get the take, it's all been for nothing. Thus, the production doesn't move on to the next shot until the director is happy with the take. Once the film is finished being shot, the director works closely with the post-production team to oversee cuts, visual effects, musical scoring, sound design, and any other elements that might be needed to complete the film. Here again, they might make ultimate creative decisions and changes if need be. After all, the unpredictable beast of filmmaking can rear its ugly head in post-production as well, and thus sometimes the director might decide they need to do reshoots in order to make the film work. For example, for my short film Hold Up, I decided to reshoot several scenes almost a year later after principal production. But by doing so, scene transitions in the film were able to flow and work much better. So now that you know what a director does, hopefully you'll have more appreciation for all the work they do behind the scenes. And speaking of behind the scenes, if you're looking for more directing tips, you can check out my playlist here for a complete guide to all of my directing tips. Mm. Mm.